This week, Lab TV travels to the Armed Forces Institute of Regenerative Medicine's Wake Forest facility. Working with the U.S. Army, scientists there are doing some pretty cool research inspired by one of nature's strangest creatures, the salamander. Many animal species have the ability to regenerate themselves. The salamander, for example, it can regenerate a whole arm, a whole limb when injured. So if a salamander can do it, why can't we? Wouldn't it be great if a soldier injured in battle or a child hurt in a car accident could grow a new finger or a whole new arm, just like a salamander? Whether we are in a car accident, we fall off a ladder, or we are in the battlefield, regardless of the injury, there's a need for replacement tissues and organs so we can make patients whole again. Growing new tissues, bones, and organs seems like a wild idea. But Dr. Atala and his team are doing just that. Every cell in your body has all the genetic information necessary to create a whole new human being that looks just like you. And if you put the cells in the right environment, they will do what they're programmed to do, which is make the tissue that they're supposed to. Different kinds of cells are programmed to grow and become different parts of the body. There are many kinds of cells. Some of them are very primitive, and they can become anything you want them to be. Those are called stem cells, and we have lots of them in our body. Some cells are more defined and can only become a very limited number of tissues. And yet, you have even the most specialized cell, which only can become one cell type. Once they decide what body part needs to be fixed, they'll take some cells from it. It starts by taking a very small piece of tissue from the patient. We then take that tissue and we grow the cells outside the body in large quantities. And being able to grow these cells outside of the body is the key to building body parts. Once they've grown a lot of cells, they place them on a three-dimensional mold called a scaffold. So a scaffold is basically uh, a type of foundation that the cells need in order to regenerate tissues. So you need to provide some sort of foundation for the body's own cells to be able to regenerate across it. And that's exactly what a scaffold does. The shape of the scaffold depends on what body part they need to build. Scientists then coat the scaffold with the cells. It's a lot like making a layered cake. We then place that in an oven-like device that has the same conditions as a human body, and four to six weeks later, you have your organ ready for implantation. The new body parts are put into the patient. The scaffolds are designed to disintegrate after a few months. So the concept is that the molds will go away while the tissue is actually forming. And at the end, you're left just with a person's own tissue. And now the patient has grown a whole new tissue, bone, or organ built out of their own cells. In this institute, we're actually are working on over 22 different tissues and organs, including the heart, liver, pancreas, bones, cartilage, nerves, and the list goes on. Growing a new heart? That sounds a little like science fiction but not to Dr. Atala. The science fiction of yesterday happens to be a lot of the medicine of today. It is the imagination that allows us to seek these solutions that someday in the future become a reality. To find out more about cells and regenerative medicine, check out labtvonline.org.